What's up YouTube, Steel Family Cards coming at you with another video. So today, I got myself some Maximum Gold, and we're gonna crack it open. So I'm super hyped for this set, because it makes some stuff more affordable, like these Golden Lords, which I have already managed to pick up. And just look at that nice new gold rarity. That is so sweet. This is probably my, one of my favorite reprints. Also, um, Infinite Impermanence is real nice. So that's just kind of some of the stuff that I'm looking for in this set. So let's see if we can maybe pull a third copy of Golden Lord, you know? Right, let's just get right into it. So we get four packs of maximum gold per box, and each has two premium gold rares and like five other gold rares, which are just like essentially common cards with... Uh, like instead of rare lettering, it's like gold. So th those actually are pretty nice, and there's some decent stuff in there. I mean, there you've got stuff like um, what's it called? The spell Foolish Burial. I'm too lazy to remember the name right now. Uh, Foolish Burial Goods. That's it. And then like some decent stuff like Scrap Recycler and things like that. So let's just pull all these packs out and then open them up. All right, so, first pack. I also have another box coming in, in the mail, so this will probably be the first of two videos on maximum gold openings. So we have Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman. This is actually kind of a cool deck, the Buster Blader stuff, because there's this really nice lock you can do with their, like, super broken trap that summons, like, Buster Dragon and then their fusion monster on your opponent's turn. And so one of them makes all all monsters on the field dragons, and then the other makes it so any dragon monsters can't activate effects. So, like, it's pretty nuts. So that's kind of a nice reprint. Then we have the first Monarch, and I think our first premium gold rare is going to be a Herald of the Arc Light. Nice. These new gold rares are so cool. They're like ultimate rares, but gold. So sweet, and Herald's always a real nice card to pick up because you can always find a use for it in any kind of thing with tuners. So that's a really nice first gold rare. Never going to complain about that. Then we have Speedroid Takatambor, Silent Angler, and Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Oh, look at that! I love the original Ghost Ogre artwork. I have the Dual Devastator ones, and they just don't compare. This looks so sweet. Look at that. Beautiful. Real pleased with that one. And a nice little set rotation at the end there. Never hurts to pick up extra copies of that. Then second pack. So I feel like we're already doing pretty nice. Those are some real decent gold rares there. So we have Go 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 Gigas. Union Hanger. Another nice one. And Constellar Pallades. This is really sweet because I've been building the Elblitch stuff now. And this is a really nice thing that you can pick up to go into with their uh, trap monsters after they're summoned. So that's really sweet as well. And Xyz monsters just look really nice in this gold rarity. They've always looked, I feel like out of all the monsters that they've ever printed in gold, Xyz always kind of look pretty nice just because of the black on gold. That's real sweet. Then we have Machine Dupe. That's also a really nice one. I'm really glad they reprinted this because it was pretty expensive. And then, oh my gosh, we ended up doing it. Holy cow. That's my third copy of Elblitch the Golden Lord right there. Ha! <laughs> that is sick. All right, let's just sleeve this bad boy up real quick. And then, yeah, I actually might even throw him in a top loader here real quick. Um, well, that's awesome. Actually, I'll just probably put them here. I brought another stand over. And so there's a another copy of Golden Lord right there. I'm pretty sure that just about pays for the box. That is sweet. Then we have Circle of the Fire Kings and Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. I've actually been messing around with, like, some of the Phantom Beast cards. Because, like, the deck itself is pretty cool. Like, it's really unique and just it summons a bunch of tokens. And they have, like, an insane 
synchro that I feel has real potential. It can like rip, just completely shred your opponent's hand by like tributing Mecha Fan and Beasts. It's really cool. So I feel like if I can find out a way to summon that effectively, you can do some serious hand destruction with that thing. Then we have Extra Foolish Burial. Again, like just solid card. If you can, if you have a ritual deck, you can just play Herald in this and get free ritual searches. Then number C101, Silent Honor Dark. And Harpy's Feather Duster. Ooh, that is sick. Look at that. Recently unbanned. And I got myself a Harpy's Feather Duster. That is sweet. Real stoked about that as well. Oh man, we are pulling real nice today, guys. Harpy's Feather Duster. That is going straight to my side deck. That is sick. And then we have a Barrier Statue of the Heavens. I'm also real pumped that they reprinted the Barrier Statue stuff in here. Because I am not the most friendly person on Earth and I love playing Barrier Stun. So going to definitely try to pick up some of these, I think. <laughs> Foolish Burial. Again, just a nice solid card to have copies of on hand. And then S39, Utopia the Lightning. Again, the XZs just look real sweet in this gold rarity. It just real pops. And then Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. So, so far, we've actually pulled pretty nuts. Like, not gonna lie. Harpy's Feather Doctor and Elblitch together definitely pay for the box and probably profit off of it, too. So that's real sweet. But I'm definitely keeping them for my collection. Oh man, that is sick. So then last pack, let's see if we can somehow top an Elvich and Harpy's Feather Duster. Imagine if we pulled like an Imperm or something. So then we got Union Scramble, number 39, Utopia Beyond, uh, 15, Gimmick Pup G Giant Grinder. I've actually had never read this card until I uh, was reading the Maximum Gold set list. It's actually decent, like not gonna lie. Then we have Tour Guide from the Underworld. Real sweet. Um, I've actually kind of settled. I think the variant of Elblitch I'm going to end up playing is probably BA Elblitch. It's actually really fun, especially with the Phantom Knight stuff. So I already have picked up a playset of Tour Guides in the OG art, but Tour Guide looks real sweet. It's probably one of, I'd say, arguably one of the best one-card starters in the game. And then Kitchen Dragon Maid as our final gold rail. I've never been a huge fan of Dragon Maids, but it is kind of nice that they reprinted all of them because they were ridiculously expensive for a very poor deck. Then we have Mecha Phantom Beast Colt Wing and Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Oh, so here are our last golders. So overall, this was real sick. So we got the Kitchen, we got the Tour Guide, we got S39 Utopia the Lightning, uh, Pallades, which is another one I was pretty happy with, as well as the Ghost Ogre, which just looks so sick in this art. I love this art of Ghost Ogre. Um, and then Herald of the Arclight, which is always a good card, I think, to have on hand. Because you're always going to end up, every format, there's some deck that can make that. And then two big hits. Harpy's Feather Duster and Eldlich the Golden Lord. So yeah, that's just going to be about it for Steel Family Cards Maximum Gold Unboxing 1. I do have another box on the way, so we'll probably be cracking that sometime next week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and then that'll be it for this video, but real quick before we went, I wanted to ask you guys something. So over here at uh, Steel Family Cards HQ, we've been talking about possibly splitting the channel into the Yu-Gi-Oh! side of things and the baseball side of things. So maybe just let us know down in the comments what you'd kind of feel about that. Like, are you here mostly for the Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff and you'd like it if you could just go to the Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff or are you here just for the baseball stuff? Or do you think that we should keep up this um, kind of joint channel thing? But yeah, that'll be pretty much it for this opening. I feel like we did really well. And that'll be Steel Family Cards saying ta-ta for now.